So, you wanna be a YouTuber, huh? Who doesn't? You get to travel the world, meet hot babes, get free tech, and most importantly, sell your soul to a tech company. You can talk to the camera for days, even if it is all bullshit. Your fans are still gonna love it. And after a heavy day of influencing the world on what crap to buy next, you can come home proud and have Uncle Google slap you on the back with a big fat check. <laughs> there you go, son. But guess what, kids? It's not all candy canes and affiliate links. This is what a real YouTuber looks like. Furiously masturbating, I mean editing. Alone in a dark room, unable to keep up with your powerful YouTube algorithm <laughs> until eventually. Exhausted, unfulfilled, and sexually frustrated, the YouTuber gives up. Editing. What a nightmare. As you can probably tell by that little VT at the start of this video, I'm not a big fan of editing. At least, I was. I used to really love it, but now I do it so much. It kind of, it really gives me a headache. And I, I, if you make YouTube videos or if you're a videographer, I'm sure you feel that kind of like edit brain when you've just had enough and you're like, ah, 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 ah. So, so anyway, not knocking editing. It's a remarkable part of filmmaking and I do generally love it, but when you do it all the time, it's bloody awful. But, so when this company, Offiar, offered me the try screen, I thought, my gosh, this is gonna solve all my editing nightmares. Is it? Well, let's find out. The Ophia Tri-Screen turns your pitiful single-screen laptop into a powerful, efficiency-building workstation using the power of Tri-Screen. Each screen boasts a 1080p display and is powered directly from your laptop via USB-C. It can be configured in a variety of ways, light and portable enough to be carried around, and you can even attach it to your mobile phone or Nintendo Switch. Game on. Besides the foldable screen, you also get two USB-C cables, two HDMI cables, and a storage bag. The Tri-Screen is currently funding on Indie go go and expects to ship in February 2021. So as I unbox this, I'm going to talk about the workflow as a YouTuber. I hate that term, but inverted commas YouTuber, filmmaker, videographer, editor, and how potentially this try screen might be able to help you as it has been helping me recently. First of all, let me just show you how to attach it. So I don't know if you can see this guys, but this is the main frame here and it kind of locks on to your existing screen. It will fit a 15 to a, sorry, a 13 to a 15 inch screen or even a 16 inch screen, I believe. As you can see, it kind of expands and opens really easily and clips onto your screen like that. There you go, we're connected, we are on. Please excuse my embarrassing backdrops, but this is the setup. As you can see, no external power required. We have phantom power running through the Mac, so be aware that will drain your battery somewhat. So be aware of that. Um, another thing to be aware of is, although these are super light and nice and portable, the Mac screen, if you push it back a little bit, will want to fall over like that. So just make sure you're at the right angle and we're balancing nicely. Now, here's a perfect example. I have been working on this film for like two years? I don't know, a very long time and I've just not edited it. But thankfully I'm nearly there and I have been using these tri screens to help me. The screens themselves, as you can see, are nice and bright. They're uh, full 1080p resolution, so pretty bright. Um, good enough. The first thing you will want to do with these screens is make sure the audio is coming through the MacBook Pro speakers because although these do have speakers, they're not very good. The image quality is much better than the sound quality. You will also need to fiddle with the arrangement so that when you move things over here to the left, they appear on the left and not the right and vice versa if you get me. This setup seems to work for me nicely. By the way guys, if you haven't guessed already, this is the first time I've really worked with external monitors. So I'm not gonna get too geeky into the tech specs and stuff like that. Look into them for yourself. For me, they look good, they look bright, they look sharp, but I am no monitor expert, okay? Big disclaimer. I'm just gonna talk about my workflow in YouTubing and how extra screens will help. Okay, so here we are now in Final Cut Pro. As you can see, the screen is pretty congested. We've got a browser, a timeline, our main screen, and then like filters and stuff on this side. So the first thing I would do always is make the screen bigger. 
So there we go, make it as big as possible and you've gained like an extra inch or so, which is, which is decent. But now, thankfully with these external monitors, we can get rid of half of this junk. So what I'm gonna do is send the browser to the secondary workspace. Has that worked? So, and here I can now dig around into all the assets, all the footage and find exactly what I need to. Also all the projects are all nicely laid out and all the events and stuff. Look at all these videos I'm working on, it's ridiculous. So that takes care of all that and we've got much more space, so that is good. But we've also got this screen. So in the third window, I'm going to put my downloads folder, maybe up, open up a new finder window as well, because I'm forever going on my desktop and getting stuff. But now I can have all my YouTube assets, my sound effects, my music library, it's all here ready to go, ready to be dropped in. I've got my downloads folder and then also we have the internet there. So we don't need to disturb this main window anymore because previously I'm forever kind of like switching between programs all the time and then having to make my screen smaller yeah and minimizing it and coming out and blah 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 so there we go that's my setup and that's the way i've been using it for the last couple of weeks or so and i have to say i'm really 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 quite pleased because i have been actually editing this film which is called girl by the way i will link the trailer um, for a long, long time. For various reasons, it just hasn't happened. And you can see by my browser, I've got tons of projects on the go. And I don't know if it's using these screens or making me feel like more professional and setting them up, but I've managed to finish this film and I'll be releasing it and submitting it to film festivals shortly. So I'm giving myself a, like a round of applause because it took forever. If you're like me, you've come from a 13 inch Mac onto a 15 inch Mac and that's still not enough for you, then opening up with external monitors is definitely the way to go. And this is a kind of quite savvy, quite neat, quite cost effective solution rather than kind of going, going the next gigantic leap to an iMac. So I'm pretty chuffed. But like I said, I'm no expert in external monitors, so please look into the tech specs with a little bit more detail than I have mentioned them. But let me show you what else is quite cool. Okay guys, we're back on this camera now, which probably has much better audio as well. So apparently, I haven't tried this yet, it's got like a presentation triangle mode. So if I whip these round this way, oh hello, we've kind of got like a little, can you see that there? I mean, that's quite cool for like sharing videos that way, that way if you're at a business meeting and your colleague, you were like, hey, check it, the video out there, check the video out there. I've got it right here. And you can also have them in a portrait fashion on the side. And, uh, and what's also quite cool is you can attach your Nintendo Switch and your mobile phone, although iPhones aren't quite available just yet and I've got an iPhone, so can't show you that. So, what does all this multiple screen nonsense actually mean in the real world? Well, it's simple, more productivity. You're gonna get more stuff done in a more efficient way without frying your eyeballs. And I can only comment from my limited like filmmaking perspective whilst using external monitors, but I've really enjoyed the editing process much more than I would usually. Okay, I'm not gonna carry them and take them into cafes and coffee shops and work from there because it's a bit overkill, isn't it? You're not really gonna work in a cafe with these bad boys, but for a home studio setup for those that like to move about as well, I think these are a good way to go. They are lightweight and you are getting not one, but two monitors um, for the price of probably like one monitor, $249 on Indiegogo at the moment. And it's not just filmmaking. These are obviously gonna help with if you're an animator, graphic designer, or you just like making graphs and surfing the internet, there's multiple reasons why you need multiple monitors. So for me, this is a first, um, and I'm, I'm pretty chuffed overall. And that's all I've got to say. I've probably blabbed on long enough. Bit of a weird video, bit of a different video. I hope I managed to express it and explain it as best I could. Ultimately, it's helping your workflow. It's helped my workflow, especially when editing is such a uh. So I'm really pleased. Definitely go check out the Indiegogo. Look into the tech specs a little bit more. Uh, but forget about what I've said. 
how do external monitors help your workflow? Drop me a comment below and please support this film here when it comes out. Keep an eye on my channel, subscribe, like all that jazz, and maybe we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let's, uh, let's fold these up now. One. There we go. Fold that down there. Close it down. Oh, oh, sorry.